Hello everyone and welcome to the virtual art market of New Orleans. I'm Molly McGuire and I have the highly unlikely job of painting circus banners. Uh, now these aren't for any actual existing circuses but rather are inspired from the circus in my mind. I was so fortunate to be commissioned this year by the illustrious crew of Rex to create their proclamation poster for Mardi Gras 2020. This included giving a speech with Mayor LaToya Cantrell, signing a lot of posters, and it even got me coverage in the local news. McGuire, as she's known, has done some paintings for American Horror Story and this year's French Quarter Fest poster. There's a handful of contemporary circus banner painters out there, but there's not a lot of us. For McGuire, it was a job well done. I'm gonna make them proud. And as others get the chance to get a glimpse, she just hopes they'll enjoy it just as much as she does. I also painted and designed the poster for this year's French Quarter Festival, as well as their t-shirts, all of which were printed with the dates during which the festival was supposed to take place. Ouch. Jazz Fest was also canceled this year, which is disappointing on so many levels. But enough about that. Here's some background on how I got started painting circus banners. When I was a little girl growing up in Canada, a parking lot carnival would come and set up behind my house every year. It just basically transformed this whole area from nothing to the most exciting place in the world. And then it would disappear as quickly as it came. And it had a lifelong effect on my art. I create these circus banners from recycled materials. I utilize used canvas drop cloth as well as salvaged paint that I tint myself in order for it to perform as sign paint for my lettering. Uh, it's all recycled materials from movie sets. It was almost like as soon as I decided I was going to make circus banners, everything clicked. Like, and not to sound woo woo, but like just in the universe, coincidences started happening again. Like, I immediately got called by American Horror Story to do all the circus banners for season four freak show. But that was in a week of me deciding that I'm just going to do circus banners. I got that gig. Painting presents the biggest challenges I've ever experienced in my life. It's absolutely the most versatile and the most challenging medium I've ever worked in. I paint because I feel that that's the medium in which I can express myself the best. I have to paint because I can't help it. <laughs> most of my ideas are drawn out in their entirety before I pick up a brush. They're drawn out on paper and uh, sort of mused over for um, months, sometimes years, before they actually become executed as a circus banner. New Orleans inspires me on multiple levels. Uh, the food, the music, the culture, it's just an endless uh, source of inspiration and subject matter for my paintings. I always knew I was going to be an artist, but interestingly enough, there was sort of a 20 year sidetrack where I just ran away with a band and started playing music. Being in a band was very much like being a part of a circus. It was fun, I got to travel, made a lot of friends. The best reaction that I get is when people have a nostalgic reaction to my work. It takes them back to when they were a kid at the carnival. Uh, which is exactly why I do the paintings in the first place. So when people come in and have that reaction to my work, it seems like a job well done. Do I feel fortunate? Absolutely. I get to wake up every morning, paint circus banners all day. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Wouldn't trade it for anything, really. It's like a dream come true. I've been working my whole life for this. So, here I am. <laughs>